This is the Music History Today podcast for October 26th. On today's show, a hostage situation in a theater ends badly. Nick and Jessica get married and Dylan signs. First up, though, on this date in 1927, Duke Ellington recorded the song Creole Love Song. In 1934, Cole Porter recorded the song You're the Top. In 1958, the first rock concert ever held in Germany ended in a fight with police having to break it up. In 1961, Bob Dylan signed his first record contract. In 1976, Parliament Funkadelic used their iconic mothership prop in their stage show for the very first time. In 1993, Michael Jackson was awarded a patent for his shoe system that allowed him to lean completely forward in his music video for his song Smooth Criminal. In 1998, Marilyn Manson began the Mechanical Animals Tour. In 2002, a hostage situation at a theater building in Moscow ended in disaster. After terrorists held hostages who were attending a musical performance in the theater for three days, the police stormed in, killing 50 terrorists, but also killing 150 hostages in the process. We discuss more about this particular event in depth on our Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel that you're either watching or listening to. Please like, subscribe, and help the algorithm out a little. Moving on. In 2002, Jessica Simpson married Nick Lachey, which led to one of the first celebrity-driven reality shows called Newlyweds Nick and Jessica. In 2010, Keith Richards released his autobiography called Life. In 2018, in an epic prank, 50 Cent used Groupon in order to buy 200 tickets at $15 each to a Ja Rule concert so that the venue would look completely empty. And you thought the K-pop fans snagging seats to that Trump rally in Tulsa in 2020 and not showing up was a pretty good prank. In 2018, same day, Sinead O'Connor announced that she had converted to Islam and the group SB19 was formed on that date as well. In 2019, the sweater that Kurt Cobain wore during his MTV Unplugged concert sold at auction for $334,000 U.S. dollars. In classical music in 1919, Edward Elgar premiered his cello concerto in E minor, and in 1930, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his ballet Zolotoy Ivievk in theater. In 1919, the musical Buddies opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 26, in 1965, the Beatles received their Orders of the British Empire from the British royal family. Albums that were released in the UK on October 26th include in 1998 when Napalm Death released Words from the Exit Wound. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, Sam and Dave released Soul Men. In 1973, Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye released Diana and Marvin. In 1974, Neil Diamond released Serenade. In 1979, The Fall released Dragnet. In 1981, the Jay Giles Band released Freeze Frame, which was a big album for them. In 1984, Gary Newman released Berserker. In 1987, Meatloaf released Meatloaf Live at Wembley. In 1989, The Hooters released Zigzag. In 1992, Charday released Love Deluxe. In 1993, Ben E. King released Shades of Blue. The 10,000 Maniacs released MTV Unplugged. The Clash released a Super Black Market Clash. The Cure released Paris. The Velvet Underground released Live MCMXC. 111, or III, better known as 1993. In 1994, Blur released the Special Collector's Edition. In 1998, The Stranglers released Coupe de Grasse. In 1999, Genesis released Turn It On Again, The Hits. Bewitched released Awake and Breathe. Bush released The Science of Things. Incubus released Make Yourself. Phil Lesh and Friends released Love Will See You Through. Robert Palmer released 20th Century Masters, The Millennium Collection, The Best of Robert Palmer. And Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young released Looking Forward. 
In 2000, the band released their greatest hits album. In 2004, Daryl Hall and John Oates released Our Kind of Soul. The Doobie Brothers released Live at Wolf Trap. Leonard Cohen released Dear Heather. And Sugarland released their debut album, Twice the Speed of Life. Singles that were released in the UK on October 26 include in 1974 when Jethro Tull released Bungle in the Jungle. In 1979, Madness released One Step Beyond. Also on that same day, Mary and Faithful released The Ballad of Lucy Jordan. In 1984, Duran Duran released Wild Boys. And in 1992, Guns N' Roses released Yesterdays. Meanwhile in America, in 1964, the Beach Boys did a twofer. They released Dance, Dance, Dance and The Warmth of the Sun. In 1965, Elvis Presley released Puppet on a String. In 1970, Elton John released his classic, Your Song, and Santana released their classic, Black Magic Woman slash Gypsy Queen. In 1973, Paul McCartney and Wings released Helen Wheels. In 1979, The Jam released The Eaton Rifles, and Pep Benatar released Heartbreaker. In 1987, the Bangles released Hazy Shade of Winter, their version of the Simon and Garfunkel classic. And in 1993, the Gin Blossoms released their popular song, Found Out About You. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 26th include country music superstar Keith Urban, gospel legend Mahalia Jackson, funk legend the bassist Bootsy Collins of Parliament Funkadelic, Mark Berry of B.B. Mac, classical composer Domenico Scarlatti, Natalie Merchant of 10,000 Maniacs, David Waz of Waz, not Was, Keith Strickland of the B-52s, Keith Hopwood of Herman's Hermits, Alan Henderson of Them, Michael Piano of the Sandpipers, Neil Matthews Jr. of the Jordanaires, jazz musician Charlie Barnett, Jabo Starks of James Brown's backup band, singer Charlie Lansborough, Maggie Roche of the Roches, rapper Schoolboy Q, singer Guy Sebastian, singer Sophie Pecora, rapper Tokyo Jets, Nakamoto of the group NCT, singer Y Yuta, and rapper Joey Trapp. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 26 include composer Philippe Nicolai, who passed away in 1607 at the age of 52. Composer John Jenkins passed away in 1678 at the age of 86. Composer Andreas Workmeister passed away in 1706 at the age of 60. Violinist Antonio Veracini passed away in 1733 at the age of 74. Organist Joseph Priendel passed away in 1823 at the age of 67. Composer Isaac B. Woodbury passed away in 1858 at the age of 39. Composer John Fawcett passed away in 1867 at the age of 77. Composer Peter Cornelius passed away from liver issues in 1874 at the age of 49. Composer Herbert Oakley passed away in 1903 at the age of 73. Composer Victor Scherzinger passed away in 1941 at the age of 53. Composer Arn Egan passed away in 1955 at the age of 74. The conductor of the Bavarian State Opera from 1922 to 1936, Hans Knapperbusch, passed away in 1965 at the age of 77. Singer Al McCogan passed away in 1966 at the age of 34. Composer John Duke passed away in 1984 at the age of 85. Composer Harold Rome passed away in 1993 at the age of 85. 
Singer Wilbert Harrison passed away in 1994 at the age of 65. Singer-songwriter Hoyt Axton passed away from heart issues in 1999 at the age of 61. Composer Roberto Murillo passed away in 2003 at the age of 92. Bassist Tillman Franks passed away in 2006 at the age of 86. Drummer John King of the Steve Miller Band passed away in 2010 at the age of 63. Natina Reed of the group Black passed away in a car accident in 2012 at the age of 32. DJ Kill Bill passed away from mental health issues in 2014 at the age of 17. Guitarist Paul Barrere of the group Little Feet passed away in 2019 at the age of 71. And singer-songwriter Stan Sessler passed away in 2020 at the age of 92. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is... October 27th, when in 2013, Lou Reed of the Velvet Underground and also of Walk on the Wild Side solo fame passed away at the age of 71. 